Hello everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're gonna to make some bumblebee themed stuff for your tiered tray, or if you wanna just set it around your house. It's so cute, I can't wait to show you. So let me show you what we need so we can get started. First, you're gonna need some honey. You're gonna need a couple little Easter eggs that I have left over from Easter, just little tiny styrofoam eggs. And we're gonna paint these so it doesn't matter what color you get. I have a few markers. I have a white marker, a yellow marker, and a black marker. These are paint markers. I have some paint brushes. I have a napkin or a paper towel. I have this vase that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I have this picture frame that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I also have this little sign that I picked up from Family Dollar, and it's left over from Valentine's Day and we're going to redo this. I also picked up some of these little bottles from the Dollar Tree and these are the little miniature kind and I have seen three sizes. There's big ones, medium ones, and little ones. You're going to need six little ones and one medium. I picked up these dowel rods at the Dollar Tree and these are about six inches. A ruler. My drill my glue gun. I have a little sprig of white flowers. I have some wire cutters, a hacksaw from the Dollar Tree, a hammer, this mesh bag that some wooden spoons came in. It's kind of like the same thing that your fruit or onions come in. So I have black today, a pair of scissors, I have some wire from the Dollar Tree. I have a little piece of vinyl black um, vinyl paper, sticker paper. I also have a piece of black um, cardstock or paper. I have this, I printed out on my Cricut. It's just a B saying here, and you could stencil it on, draw it on, marker, use markers or stickers, but this is what I chose for mine today. I'll show you how we're going to do that. I also have this little crate that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I also bought these off Amazon and they're little wooden, I think they're one centimeter, um, I think they're one centimeter little wooden hexagon shapes. And I bought a pack of 500, but I think we're only going to use 200, about 200 today. And then the last thing you need is some assortment to paint. And I have a black, a brown, a yellow, a green, and a yellow brown color, kind of like an ochre. And so we also have, oops, we need a couple drill bits and some glue sticks. So that's all you need today. It looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. So let me get situated and we'll get started. Okay, so now I've got everything situated on my table. The first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start to redo this little picture frame here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and paint it black. But you could paint it any color you want, but I'm going to choose black today. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take our vase and we are going to glue these wooden pieces, these little hexagon shapes, all around it okay we're gonna work in little rows and go all the way around now this kind of sets a little crooked so we're gonna set it so it goes the back is over here so this would be the back of it and you would be looking at it and this would be the front we're gonna leave a little space for a little um, hole for our honeybee hive okay so you're just gonna leave a little space here So you're going to leave a little space right here and I would say it's probably about one, two, three of these less here. And then we're just going to do another row. There's my second row. So you're just going to keep going all the way around, all the way up.
Okay, so it's going to end up looking like this. Now yours may be a little bit different because of your spacing, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to paint this and I'm going to paint it this yellow color. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off some of these flowers and we're going to leave the stems pretty long and they're going to go inside the little glass vase right here. So we're going to make a little vase of flowers. Now I'm going to paint mine yellow to make them look like sunflowers and then I'm going to paint the center of this darker and bigger. So let me do that and we'll get started. We're also going to do this too. We're going to paint these eggs yellow while I have the yellow out painting the flowers, okay? Okay, so we're gonna let these dry. Okay, so now that we're letting stuff dry, let's go ahead and work on the crate. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna shorten this crate down. I want it to stand like this, but I want it to be shorter. So like in my other video, I cut the bottom part of this off. So what you wanna do is take your ruler and you're going to mark right onto this, right at this edge. And this is where we're gonna take our hacksaw from the Dollar Tree and cut these two ends off. Okay, so we cut that down shorter. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to take apart this picture frame here because I just want to use this center metal piece. And there's a little itty bitty screw on here that you need to take off. And then this will be mounted to little dowel rods here that we're going to drill a hole in this and we're going to put these dowel rods inside here. Now I can't decide what color I want to paint this yet so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work on my little bottles of honey. So what we want to do first is if you want to put a little label on your honey jars first, I would do that, do that now. Okay, so now I've got all my little labels on my jars. I am going to fill these all with honey. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue all of these corks back on. Okay, so there I have my six jars of my honey. So I'm going to set these aside. So the next thing I want to work on is I want to paint this and I'm not sure what color. So I think I was going to do it like a stain, but I think I'm going to do it green now. Okay, now that I have painted this green, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, now I'm back to this. I'm going to give this a second coat. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry again. The next thing we're going to make is we're going to make our little wings for our bumblebees. So you're going to need your mesh um, bag here. And I got black and I have some black wire from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a pair of scissors and your wire cutters. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take some of this wire and you just need, we need four pieces and I would say we're going to need some about this long. So why don't we cut four pieces at four inches long. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to make some little teardrop shape. So you're just going to take it kind of like shaped like a fish here 
and you're just going to twist the one end so it looks like this and these will go inside of your bubble bee so you don't want them too big so this looks a little bit big so just twist it up a little bit more make it a little bit smaller i think about that size take some of this mesh bag here and you just want to cut out um, some pieces and you're just going to lay it right on top of the mesh so let them cool and then we're just going to trim around the outside with some scissors. So it'll be like this. Okay, so before we get the black paint back out, I want to have a sign hanging on the front of my little bee stand here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to smack off one of these little pieces here. So I have my little piece. Now, it I don't want it as long as this, so I'm going to shorten this just a little bit. So I cut that end off. So now it's going to be this big for this okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to drill little holes in here because I don't want to just hot glue it on here I want to hang it on here okay so let's drill little holes in this and the reason why I'm going to have this hang on here this time is so you can change your signs out and you can use this for other things other than just a honey stand I'm gonna paint this brown, the same color as I used on this little honey pot here. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish painting all of our black stuff. Okay, so the wings are drying. We're gonna go ahead and work on this wire here for the bumblebee. And you're gonna want a piece for each one to use them to stick inside this vase. So then you're gonna take your bee and you're gonna put some stripes on him. And what I like to do first is take the front, which is the smaller end, and that's his face. And he's like Okay, so while those are drying, we're going to go ahead and paint this picture frame again. Okay, so we're going to set this aside to dry again. Okay, so now we're going to take these little flowers and we are going to paint the centers of these bigger and darker to make them look like sunflowers. So while these are drying, we're going to go ahead and paint are black on here and I want to paint this um, part right here in the front black just like that okay so you're gonna let this dry okay so now let's go back to the flowers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the center of this black around the brown we want it to be um, bigger like a sunflower let's let the flowers dry let's work on our bumblebees and let's glue on the wings okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to cut a piece of wire and it's going to go on this sign and I'm going to hang this on the front side of this stand here
And on my sign, I am going to write Honey House. That's what I made on mine. I wrote Honey House. And I'm just going to hang it right here. Okay, I found the tiny little screw that came with this picture from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to just screw that right onto the front of this. So I screwed that right to the front and I left a little space there. So then when you hang this on, there's actually a space for it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that screw top out black. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to put this paper inside this little frame. So I need to cut this so it fits. Okay, so now that I've got that paper glued in the back of this, I am going to use my Cricut words that I printed out and I'm gonna put that into my sign. Now you could use stencils or stickers or draw it with your markers or whatever you wanna do, but I happen to use my Cricut. Okay, so that's my little sign I made. The next thing I want to do is I want to glue this onto the top of this here. I went ahead and made an extra bumblebee and I'm going to take it and I'm going to trim the wire off shorter and I'm going to twist it around the bottom of this here. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is I want to put words on this made out of wire. And the easiest way to figure out how to do this is to look up some words made with wire. So that's what I did. And I'm going to put be happy on mine. There's my first word, B. Okay, so there's my second word, happy. And I left a little piece right here because that's where we're gonna glue it to your jar or your honey pot. Okay, we're all done. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Isn't that so cute? I love these. There's our little honey hive, beehive, and our little sign we made, and our little bee stand. It's the little honey house. Isn't that cute? I love it. So if you liked what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel.